So Bad Dragon and Randy Orton are your world tag team champions. And we head into the fourth week of September, show nine, loud and clear. Perhaps this might have something to do about defending the titles against the guys I took it from. Hell yeah, it feels pretty good. You know it, killer. Oh my god, don't call him killer. That's not cool. <laughs> there's nothing I wouldn't have done to win it, and there's nothing I wouldn't do to keep it. I wonder how far he's gonna go to keep it then. You gonna beat Randy Orton up like you beat Batista? Hmm? Okay, so they will be defending the titles, but against who, I don't really know. Perhaps they're going to be defending against the Gimps. You know, the ones they beat for the titles. But hell yeah, man, these guys are the tag team champions. The first ever belts that the Dragon gets to hold. Maybe he's going to be able to move up in the ranks and hold more. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for now, there will be that tag match coming up. Bad Dragon and Randy Orton versus Garrison, Caden, and Rhino. Who the hell are these guys and why are they getting a title shot? Are they getting a title shot? I don't know. Like, it sounded like they were, but I'm not quite sure. Well, despite that, Dragon opens the match with a gorgeous spinning head scissors. And why isn't Garrison K teamed up with his uh, partner? You know, the guy wearing the same tights as him? Mark Jindrak, maybe? Oh well, maybe Rhino is like, uh, I got some business with this bad dragon guy. Might want to join you in this one. Either way, he's getting that dragon sleeper. Well, it looked like it was a rope break, but I guess we won't find out thanks to Rhino. They lock up, and Cade reverses, and then tags out. The dragon is deep in enemy territory. Rhino goes up for a snap suplex that also knocks Cade down somehow. A reversal sends dragon back. He comes back with a flurry of kicks, but it only looks like he got half of them in. The War Machine's lucky he didn't get more. And now that's a kick that I love so much. And you can see why. It sets him up for a beautiful Fisherman Buster. Come on, man. The Dragon Sleeper. You gotta stop that. All this reversing bullshit. And you gotta hit your kicks too, alright? Go for it. Oh no, he's gonna do something else. Perhaps more dangerous. A Michinoku driver. Yeah, that's more dangerous. Is he in the ropes? He's in the ropes. So close to the corner, Rhino has no choice but to take all those dragon kicks. And now our man heads up to the top. What's he got in mind? I actually don't have a clue what that was because the cameraman was behind the ref. Thanks a lot. You're doing your job very well. Speaking of doing your job very well, the Bad Dragon is doing exactly that. Another Dragon Sleeper in the ropes, but the guy can't even... <laughs> the ref couldn't even break it up because Cade stopped him. <laughs> yes, love when the referee gets hit. Give me more. Cade is all over the place, but manages to break it up. The special is activated, and Rhino is in trouble. Because here comes the Acai, <coughs> the Dragon, DDT. No, he reversed it. Oh my god. Oh shit. To the outside. And then he jumped off and missed. Like, <laughs> good job, man. Good job. You're not gonna pin him? Not again. No, Dragon, what are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> this guy, this guy cannot get Cade anywhere he wants him. Well, there's an arm drag, so that's nice. Now get in the ring and finish this damn match. Randy Orton, he's doing some, okay. He's getting him back in the ring. Dragon, come on, Rhino. That should have been a Dragon Sleeper and you know it. Rhino up to the top. Oh my god. It looks like a knee drop. The referee got in the way again for some reason. And Rhino tags out. Now we're in trouble. In comes the guy who suplexed Dragon to the outside twice. Damn it to hell, man. Oh yeah, the Bulldog. 
Oh, the dragon clutch. I forgot about the dragon clutch. Hell yeah. And here comes the kicks. They sure had a hard time connecting, but thankfully at least some of them got it. Now Dragon's got him up for the Michinoku driver. You know, you wouldn't be Dragon if you didn't try to do a finishing move or some way to end the match in the ropes. He caught the leg and turned it into a drop kick. Dragon, come on. Oh, shit. Uh, Randy, thank you. Come on, Dragon, get up. I don't know why it's taking you so long. Didn't I jack your durability up a little bit? And now he takes a slam. Come on, man. You got this. Spinning head scissors. That knocks Rhino off the apron. Excellent work. Here it is. Damn it. You can do this, Dragon. We all have faith in you, man. You are one half of the tag team champions and knocked out too. Shit. This man loves throwing his feet at the dragon. What's with these people in feet? How about that snap suplex for your troubles? Activate that shit. Put this man away with a dragon DDT. That's what I like to see. He goes up. And he comes down. One more time. He's not hurt enough yet. Make him bleed. And there we go. Beautiful landing. Now get Rhino off. Good. Now pin that man. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go. 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 Ref, come on. Stop bullshitting. Three. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, your slow counts. You piece of... Ugh. So mad at that guy. The dragon takes him over with a headlock takedown. And shit, this guy comes back. Hey, hey, you know I can't reverse those punches that well. You need to stop with those. Play to my strengths. There's a dragon sleeper in the ropes. Of course there is, right? Come on, dragon. You've got red meter. Red spirit meter. You can do this. And look at Randy Orton. My man's looking. He looks sleep. He's sleep in the corner over there. <laughs> Incoming. Fisherman Buster. Dropped him on his head. What are we going to see? Nothing. A moonsault. He hits it. Ref, get down there. Oh. <laughs> Rhino missed the stomp. And Bad Dragon and Randy Orton get the three. These refs need to learn to keep their hands off of evolution. These guys are great. You can't just touch greatness. Well, I suppose that match was a tune-up match of some kind. It... I definitely don't know why they put those two guys together, but they're not a tag team as far as I know. Here's our boys celebrating after the match. Arms raised in victory as they look onto the crowd. Acknowledge them. These are your world tag team champions, and you better love it. Oh my god, it's the Bashams. What are you sneaking to the ring for? Their backs are turned. Well, damn. Now we get another... Be down from behind. These guys must not be so happy about losing their titles. I guess you shouldn't be happy about losing your titles, but being a bitch like this isn't really going to help your chances of doing anything productive. And there are the assholes. Clearly, they want their titles back. What are you talking about, coach? What's your motivation, my ass? Yeah, they want the belts. You damn right it's true. It's damn true. Okay, fine. Sign it. Sign the rematch. Uh-uh, no, no. I don't want no surprises from y'all. No. No, I'm done. All right, y'all can have the titles. I don't want these people surprising me with shit. <laughs> Ain't no telling what they're going to take out of their dungeon. Nope. Leave it all down there. You stay down there too. Uh, Randy, we need to talk. I think maybe we need to give these titles back to these guys. I don't think I'm ready for none of that. Our guy is just a bad dragon. And there's nothing dirty or perverse about that in the least. I promise you. Taking a look at these stats, it's only fair to balance out the strength and durability. Both at seven and a half. 
I was actually thinking about putting some into submission. Mmm, no. I'll save that 8 attribute points for something in the future, maybe. Who knows when we're gonna need it. So here we go into the first week of October. Show 10, Evolution, get some revenge. Oh yeah, buddy, it looks like it's time to kick some bald twin ass. Nature Boy, number two, what's up? Well, I've had better days. All right, I'm good for that, one-on-one -on -one matches. In line for more gold? Randy was hurt? You son of a bitch! Hurting my partner? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. I understand now. I'll, I'll get revenge for Randy. Woo! I'll get revenge for Randy. I'll make sure this guy pays for what he did. The only problem with that is I don't know which one in particular did that to him. They both look the same to me. And I'm not trying to be racist. They're twins, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, here we go. Singles match between Bad Dragon and Danny Basham. I'm really struggling not to say Danny Phantom again like last time. I need to stop. I need some help. Um, therapy might be in order. Anyways, uh, let's just get to the match. The bell rings, and they misconnect like crazy. But Dragon gets the first move in. It's the Dragon Screw Leg Whip. And I'm going to treat you like you were the one who hurt Randy. It's awful convenient, though, that it was Randy that got hurt. Yeah. Another excuse for our partner not to be there. Okay, I see what you're doing. Maybe he'll magically get better after this match is over. And what did Ric Flair mean by more gold? Like, more opportunities for more gold? Does this mean by any chance that there's going to be a singles belt in Dragon's future here? If so, I'm all for it. No, you hit him in the, the little dragons. You can't do that. You gotta protect the dragons. You can't let them get hit. This guy fights dirty. And you in particular needs to keep your hands above the waist, alright? I don't, I don't trust you, man. And after a gorgeous fisherman buster, Dragon finds himself putting Danny in a dragon sleeper. In the ropes. It is in the ropes, right? It's not in the ropes! Oh shit, I'm a liar. Oh, um, damn. <laughs> Well, Dragon gets knocked over, and I'll tell you, this is in the ropes. You bet your ass is in the ropes. Why'd it take you so long to break it, man? Look at those kicks. He hit all of those kicks. This is what you get. Never mind. Destroying all momentum. Again, destroying all momentum. And I can't even reverse a damn thing. Well, every reverse. Oh, okay, I'm getting it. Oh, shit. All right, fine. That, ha, oh, okay. Let's not talk about angles and how that made no sense. Um, Dragon, do something with this guy, man. Shit, do something. Look, all right. Oh, my God, this guy's messing me up. At least the bright side is Dragon is closer to getting a finisher than him. The downside is there's an elbow in his jaw. Wait, my feet are in the ropes, ref. Do something. Piece of shit. Good for nothing, black and white striped ass. Zebra over here. Fisherman Buster. Oh, hell. A Fisherman Buster reversed into just, a, I guess, suplex. Standard as fuck. Basic, but worse. A double axe handle. You can't be doing that shit. Dude, stop with the strikes, okay? Wasn't it you? Wasn't it you that kept messing me up with the strikes before? You need to stop this shit. Here, take this. Dragon Sleeper, standing. A man just got back up and said, nah, that shit didn't hurt. How about you do this? What is that move called? I forgot. That might be the only move I don't know. And what's that one? No, let me stop. The Moonsault. He's got the cover. He kicks out. Thank you for doing that, though, because it gives me the chance to actually let Dragon use his finish. Well, Mr. Danny, remember all that shit you did to Randy and myself last time? You're about to get it all back. 
with this. You gonna do it again, big man? Nope, he said we're going for the cover right now. And there we have our retribution on Danny. Beautiful taunts right there, man. Get out of my way. This man deserves everything coming to him. Although, proceed with caution because he does have a partner, dude. Well, never mind. I guess the partner didn't give a shit. Fine. He deserved every bit of that stomping. Now we need to go check on Randy to see how he's doing. Hopefully he's okay. Maybe uh, maybe there'll be Ric Flair at his bedside or something. No, no hospital scene. All right, cool. Let's just go check the attributes. With 27 points, I think counter is a good idea to deposit something into. I mean, even though we were doing good with them, like I got a few reversals in. Maybe it will help get better. I don't know. Maybe the higher counter, the better it is for me getting these reversals. Heading into the second week of October, show 11. Oh my God, that moved really fast. There's Randy and there is the leader, Triple H. Um, There's a title defense against Chris Jericho and Edge. But Randy, he just got back. Oh shit, Triple H said, nah, I ain't gonna be a part of that shit. I'm in a number one contender match for the World Heavyweight title. Y'all better stop that bullshit. You, yeah. Okay. So we'll have uh, Nature Boy number two teaming up with uh, Bad Dragon. Not bad. If he fights as good as he did when he beat Dragon's ass, then uh, yeah, I'll take him. In fact, I'd fuck up Randy Orton just for a chance to get Ric Flair as the, the, the partner. Damn, getting a little possessive much. All right. I'm its tag partner. No one else. I mean, Bad Dragon's cool and all, but shit, I didn't think he felt like that. All right, hold on. Handicap match. Oh, handicap. Triple H, Triple H, let's talk about this, man. Oh, now you ain't feeling so strong about your partner, huh? Special attraction, not a tag team. To okay, fine. All right, I'll take that. But you kind of jerked me around a little bit, Eric, there. At first, it was a tag team title match, and then, okay, no, it's a special attraction match. There were so many messages that flew around there. Holy shit. So Triple H is going for the World Heavyweight Championship. Randy Orton really likes being Dragon's partner. Of course he does. And now we have a handicap match. Bad Dragon versus Edge and Chris. Jericho, a man we know all too well. The first and best undisputed champion. Oh my god, oh my god. A beautiful drop kick. Dragon giving these people the feet for the chance. Hell yeah, man. Do that. Dragon clutch in the ropes, of course. How do you know? You gotta give him that, man. That's like his only move. Let him have it. Oh, Edge with a sleeper. Dragon, come on. Get out of this. Reverse this shit. Oh, he couldn't do it. Neck breaker from Edge. He's got two opponents, and the fact that he's struggling with one only means horrible things for his chances to win this match. This special attraction match. Dragon dodges the lariat and takes Edge down with an arm drag. Come on, Edge. Give it to him. Headlock takedown. Into a dragon sleeper. That's right, man. Damn, Jericho, you got... Oh! Okay, I thought he just abandoned him because he missed. No, he's like, my dude, he's already strong enough to get out. Don't worry about that shit. Hey, there's a counter. It worked. A nice uh, waist lock takedown. Edge is reversing every other move. This man is like Ric Flair, I swear. And wait a minute, what happened to Ric Flair? I thought Eric said that Rick was going to be our partner for this one. Oh no, Randy said, I'm the only partner for him, nobody else. Possess a fucking dude, alright, sure. Edge has gotten a finisher after all those counters. I am so scared. Holy shit. 
a reversal from Edge again. Um, drag. Oh shit! He rolled him up. Cat. Oh. Whew. Edge is not. Please stop, dude. Please, you are doing way too much. Oh my god, this guy is still crazy. Oh shit! I need up. I need help. Edge is reversing everything. Dragon, come on, man. You can do this, man. I believe in you. Kicks. Oh my god, Edge is. What? I, I, there are no words to explain how frustrated I am right now. Edge is reversing every damn thing. But don't worry. I won't let Dragon get his ass beat like with Flair. I'm better now, all right? Dragon Sleeper. Hell yeah. Stay out. No. Stay at ref. Get him. Holy shit. He got the ref. <laughs> I love it so much. Thank you, Jericho. That, he did that for me. He did that for me personally. I love you, Jericho. Dragon Sleeper again. And Jericho breaks it up. Thanks a lot, dude. Okay, both Edge and Dragon are close to a finisher. Which one will get it first? Dragon Sleeper again, but this time perhaps in the ropes? But no, okay, fine. My man is out. Look at him. He's out. All right, Dragon. He heads up to the top. He hit... Um, I don't know what happened there, but, uh, I'm scared. Um, that, see, this, this is, uh, what do you call it? Old school strat right here. My dude ready to hit a finisher? Just leave. Just leave. Jericho reverses like a crazy man too? Okay, well, all that we need to worry about now is Dragon's got a finisher and Edge didn't get a chance to hit his. Woo! Thank God. A bulldog. Come on, activate it. There it goes. Here it comes. Are we going to be able to do it? Yeah, baby. He's setting edge up for the dragon. DDT. One more to be safe. No. Oh, my God. Is he going to... He's knocked out. Yes. That's amazing. That is the best outcome for that match possible. There was no way I was going to pin or submit that guy. Jericho would not have let that happen. Can you believe it, man? One half of your tag team champions just beat two of the potential contenders. That's crazy. That's what that is. That's crazy. Perhaps Dragon's going to be the next breakout star of this group. Batista's already been shit canned. Randy, I mean, he's just coming back from an injury. Dragon is looking amazing right now. I wonder if Triple H won his title, uh, title opportunity. More solo work? Wait, how is he supposed to be a good tag team wrestler if he's got to keep focusing on solo work? Oh shit, Randy, you better watch out. Your partner just said it's cool and all being the tag champion, but I really don't see this as my future. Uh-oh, Randy, you might have to run into Bad Dragon with an attitude like that. Oh, man. I guess every superstar should kind of have that uh, in their mind if they're not like a LOD kind of guy. But, man. What is it going to mean for Randy? Could he do anything on his own? Well, maybe I shouldn't worry about that. This is about Bad Dragon, after all. Not about Evolution, Randy Orton, Triple H, Ric Flair, anybody. This is about the greatest in the business rising to claim that title. And for him to claim that title, he's got to get some more points into Charisma. Dragon stats are looking real good right about now. Although, after that chat with Bischoff, I'm kind of puzzled. Since we know that Dragon has his mind set on being a single superstar, what could that possibly mean for him and Evolution going forward?